Okay, so here we have the Antoine equation. It shows the uh, relationship between the logarithm of the pressure of a pure substance and at, at a specific temperature. And uh, these are just arbitrary constants. Well, not arbitrary. They're specific to each pure substance, I guess. And um, it's important because we'll need to know the vapor pressure of water at the final temperature of our system later on so we can solve for the volume. But first I'm going to make a design matrix to make this thing codable. Okay, so first we've got to see what we're trying to isolate. Trying to isolate Okay, so divide everything by C of P, so you get A, C, plus A, T, equal, yeah, equal, no, minus B equals C log, of P mm, plus T log N of P and I guess we want to isolate this so you've got A T plus C no minus C log of P plus A C minus B equals T log of P. And once we get that, we have our design matrix where it's um, so T, the negative log P, and since this is a constant, a bunch of ones. And that'll go from like 1 to the N of whatever, of all of that. Um, I guess since all of this is a constant, you can call this like, I guess if you want to call that, we'll call it D because that's the next letter in the alphabet, and it just makes sense. Sorry, I forgot to be not looking at the camera this entire time. But, and then it's going to multiply by A, C, and D to get our new matrix of just T and log of P. And that'll go from like 1 to um, the end versions of whatever. So there we've got our design matrix, and now it'll be time to code. Alright, so now we are going to code this. Um, we're now going to code the Antoine equation. So, import numpy. That's not how you spell numpy. Import numpy as... I'm just going to say N. I'm not lazy. Um, I believe we also need from, I think, scipy dot optimize import minimize and then from plotly dot sub plots import make sub There we go. Okay, that worked. 
احنا وينين Some data and set that equal to. I think it was numpy dot load text. And we load that. text oh it was load txt okay so I need a delimiter wait I'm in the same That's a string. We need that as a delimiter. Okay, there we go. So check this data. Why do I call it detent? Okay. So I want the temperature, I believe, is. Yeah, this is the temperature because this is all. Or is it? I need to look at the notes again. Oh, let's just let's just see. Or is it colon comma one colon comma one and then the other one will have to be the log p is gonna have to be the other one. subplots and then go scatter x equals t y equals log p I think that's what I want it I think that's what I want it to be I guess it's time to make the sum squared error thing to fit this nonlinearly. And these are going to be the constants for the Antoine equation. Nope, I need a colon. Okay, there we go. A, B, C. Oh, wait a minute. That's why it's not working. Is because I need the, I need it to be, B. Log. Ten. Of this. Yeah. No. 
changed it to M. Okay. No? Let's try switching these again. Okay, that's reasonable, at least. Equals K. And then we want to return. No. We want to return the And plot equation, which I'm making one of my board right here. A minus B divided by C. Let's put this in parentheses just to be safe. C plus T. C minus one T. Should have a long ten of piece somewhere in here. I thought. And scatter x equals t, y equals a a minus b divided by c plus t. A is not defined? Oh, what? I mean, A is not defined, I just def I defined it up here as sum or whatever. And then since it's saying A, B, A, B, C are not defined, oh, I do have to minimize A, B, and C, duh. SSE Okay, so let's just try an array of ones if it needs an initial value. to unpack. Dot x. Dot dot x and make this x. There we go, now you work. What? Hmm. Okay, well this is Perplexing. Why is it so far in the negative? Okay, so I guess if A is zero and B is zero, does it not like C being one? Let's try zeros. Does it not like any of these being one? So far in the negatives. Okay, let's try float. Hmm. I'm clearly doing something wrong. Let's go back to Google. Hmm. Okay, well that's clear as mud. Why 
the other way around. Negatives. This has got to be right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, because everything has to be on one side, so you subtract. Log P. Please be right. Nope. Of course, it's some squared. Okay, that's progress. This is going to be one hell of a long video. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. There we go. Now this is progress. Now I gotta make this smooth. I think you gotta, that's not what I wanted. You gotta do something like, fit this stuff, and is that's like, hold in space. Cause this evenly spaces it, in space, and then we want, just say 250. Okay, wait. I've, this is all about water. So 273.15, because if it's 250 Kelvin, it would be at the ice. And then since this thing goes up to a maximum of 650. And let's get 200 data points. Oh, yeah. Got to make everything equal to that. Okay, I got that part done. Now I've got to figure out how to do the non uh, nonlinear. Yay! Okay, for the it's not nonlinear; it's linear. For the linear one, I believe I've got to make an array of some sort. It's got to be the array that I derived. So I need out numpy c underscore. I believe that's how you make an array. C underscore. And then I want t. I want negative log p. And then a bunch of ones. It's not numpy. I keep doing NP. Carlos, you've gotten to my head. Gotta make another, uh, let's call it DEF. No, we're not gonna define a new function. No, DEF is equal to AC minus B. What is it equal to? Oh. 
linear regression. And then it would be no DFG for the sake of being continuous. And then it would be A is equal to D times D times D times F minus G. Yep, that's what I thought. It's not gonna be easy. Alright, let's argue A and B. L dot T L and I think this is what L dot T and L and then L dot T what even does the dot t do? Let's raise dot t at something to do with. Okay, so it's l because it's t. Is it t? So no, l dot at l. Not the at operator. Just say L yeah, and see what happens. Okay. Big. Add. Scatter. Fit y equals d minus b over c plus t. No, fit. Now you're just being cheeky. I see. No. Oh, again. These buttons look the same, I swear. Three and two hundred. So do we try one with three at three? Or wait. We want one that's three. No. Does that have to be a variable? Okay, we're going to try at T. Yep, there we go. And it's doing the same thing. And last time the magic cure was something to do with log P. No, it was not. I'm gonna check my notes again. Oh, I'm not using the equation. Okay. So. T. 
two times log p. It doesn't look right either, does it? I'm just going to hurry around this because I don't know how to get that to size. That linear algebra is not that that's a keeper. It's the best run yet. <sighs> okay then, so that's add. Now I'm gonna have to invest some time editing.